Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to a brief overview video of the Getai tribe. Now this tribe was released recently, it is the free LC faction by the Creative Assembly for Rome 2, so everybody gets this faction no matter what. And let's have a quick look at what it says about them. So they are Illyr Illyrian tribes, established themselves as pirates along the Adriatic coast and as far east as Apollonia, sweeping away the cultural complex of the Neolithic Balkans as the Bronze Age dawned. Actually, I think this is exactly the same as what... Yes, yeah, exactly the same what the RDI had, so I'm not going to read all of that. Um, promise of loot, so minus 50% recruitment costs and rapid campaigns, plus 50% military upkeep costs. I think that was the same. Yes, it was. The only thing that changes is down here. So, they are fiercely independent, so they have plus 10% melee defense in battle. Our god gives them public order bonus, maximum of plus 4 from presence of Balkan culture and old enemies is minus 25 to diplomacy for all nomadic factions. Okay, so I'm going to click the start campaign. I shall see you all on the campaign map. Okay, so that was the introduction to um, the Getai. So, opening mission is completely controlled two provinces, either by direct ownership or through military allies. Again, this is a treasury reward of 2,500. On the left-hand side, it basically says that um, they have have to cross the Odrysians if they wish to expand in this direction in the west. So I'm going to click off that. This is where we start. This is Malva. If we go on to the strategic overview, we can get a better idea. It's in Dacia, over here, the south of Dacia. So opening move, we probably want to try and take all of Dacia, take out uh, both these tribes over here. Perhaps then either go south to Thracia itself or go across to Pannonia or maybe even go to Ponto Caspia. So plenty of room to expand in either direction. Go into the faction here. They can have a fleet but they only have uh, the option of having one. They have two out of two armies already and they already have a champion as well. Trade partners is the Beefy. So let's have a look at them. Diplomacy. Beefy are here in the north of Dacia. Of Dacia. Same blood, trading with them. Hope we have war with. Not at war with anybody starting off, that's good. Royal Scythia don't like us over here. Oops. Uh, the Katie Roy, Katie Roy, however you pronounce it, are over here. And the Score DC, which are over here, don't like me. So on both flanks, you've got potential enemies straight off the bat. The Bastarni are pretty neutral, but you're going to want to take Dacia in the long term or the short term, even because you want to unite all that and use your your edicts. Let's have a look at the units we can get then. So we start off with our general who's a noble sword. We have spears, Dacian skirmishers and that's all we have in this army. The second army then looks like it's pretty much the same as spears, Dacian skirmishers and noble swords but also has bow horsemen. So uh, you can see all the stats there guys. Uh, mercenaries, what do we have? We have Mercenary Dacian Bowmen, Mercenary Spear Horsemen, Mercenary Falksmen, Mercenary Dacian Skirmishers, Mercenary Dacian Spears, and Mercenary Dacian Bowmen again. They are the units they have. We have a, a champion in this army, much like the RDI has a champion at the start of this campaign as well. So we'll use our champion to go up here. Also, looking at this, quite a lot of land in Dacia, so it's going to take probably a good turn or two to get where you want to. Um, looking at this, we have to trespass either of these factions if you want to go east or west to begin with. But I'm just going to go north for this faction up here. I don't really care about trespassing at the moment, just going to see what happens. Hope I haven't had a message saying I'm trespassing, that's quite good. And have a look at our technology, it'll be the same probably. Yeah, it's all the same stuff. We put on supply foraging to begin with. And we're going to click end turn just to see what the opening turn brings us. I'm also going to look at the settlement because I just forgot to do that before I pressed end turn. For this video I'm just looking just to have a quick overview of what the opening turn is like, where they're situated, who their friends and enemies are and what units they can recruit straight off the bat. And here we go, enter the end turn sequence. War declared between Odrysian Kingdom and Tribali. And we want to look at Malva. So we can't expand our city like we can, like like we could with the RDI. However, we can go for brine distiller or bronze workshop, and we can also upgrade to a barbarian village. So we'll do both that. We we'll get the workshop as well, I think. 
because that leads to siege equipment eventually, which is obviously going to be a big plus in campaigns like this. A spy can go up here. Can't really move too far with him. Uh, our champion, sorry, which is a bit of a disappointment. And yeah, I think that'll probably do for this video. So next up, we have the Odrissian Kingdom. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you out a lot in your in your understanding of this new faction. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.